of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear Fred, I'm sure you're very well. It is the first day of December in the year of our Lord and Savior 2023. Today, we start the countdown for two things. The first one is the countdown for the year 2023. And the second one is the countdown for our 33 days novena for hope and thanksgiving. We are starting the novena today. And I am sure not all of you have received your novena copy. Please don't mind. I know we have been a bit um, overwhelmed, but I can promise you that you'll have gotten your copies before the third of this month. Please be patient and bear with us. Allow me to greet you this great day. Happy new month. Our gospel today is taken from Luke chapter 21 verses 29 to 33. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they come out in leaf, you see for yourselves and know that the summer is already near. So also, when you see these signs taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I say to you, this generation will not pass away till all has taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of our Lord. Foretelling the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70 and the end of the world at an unspecified future time, Jesus warns the disciples in today's gospel that tribulations are inevitable before the last judgment and the coming of Jesus' kingdom. Jesus uses the small parable of the fig tree to explain the point that we must be prepared for the time of tribulation. Jesus' second coming and the last judgment. The fig tree in Israel produces fruits twice a year, at Passover time and in autumn. The sign of the ripening of the fruits is the appearance of fresh leaves on the tree. The Jews believed that the Messiah would appear during the Passover period, which coincides with the appearance of fresh leaves on fig trees. The destruction of Jerusalem would be the end of their world for the Jews. So the generation in AD 70 saw the end of the world symbolically. Jesus wants us to understand that the kingdom of God will be near when wars, national calamities, pestilences, and a national movement of heavenly bodies occur. Except for the last named, these seem to occur in every age. Hence, we must be ever vigilant and prepared. Two things we can pick today. One, we must be able to read the signs of the times and stay in the kingdom of God, faithfully doing God's will every day of our lives, knowing all the time that it is not about us, it is about him. Number two, we need to continue serving others in humility and love and bearing witness to Jesus through the integrity and transparency of our Christian lives without getting tired. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Friday.